Welcome to Google Classroom. Please feel free to pause this video at any time if I'm proceeding too quickly. To begin, type classroom.google.com. Click on Get Classroom. Enter your Google account information. Remember, if you're on a shared device, unclick the State Sign In box. This is Classroom's homepage. There are two ways that you may join a class. One way is to click on the plus button up in the top right hand corner, enter your class code, and join. Another way is if your teacher has already invited you, simply click join. This is a Google Classroom. Here we have three tabs on top, Stream, Classmates, and About. On my Stream page, I can see that my teacher has sent an announcement. I click on the blue link and it takes me to a new page to view my announcement. When I'm done, close the tab and return. I'm going to continue scrolling down my stream page and I can see that my teacher has posted an assignment, Scientific Method. I may open it by clicking on the title or clicking on the open box. Once the Scientific Method page opens, I can see that the assignment is not done and I've been assigned a Google Docs template. Classroom has created me my own copy. I simply click on the link, open up the assignment, and start to fill in my information. I can either turn in the assignment or if I need to, I can close the tab and come back and work on my assignment later. Simply reopen the assignment, finish whatever needs to be done. Click Turn In, and now I can see I have a green check saying that my assignment has been turned in. If I realize I've made a mistake, I can unsubmit the assignment before my teacher grades it, finish what needs to be finished, and turn in. I now have my green check and I know it's been submitted. At the top of the scientific method page, I see I had four comments from classmates. I can add my own comment, click Post, and then click the X to close the comment box. I now see I have five class comments on the scientific method page. I realized that my comment had nothing to do with scientific method. I reopen the comment boxes, click on the three dots, click delete. Please note that even though you are deleting, your teacher can still see deleted posts. And now I'm going to add a post that is relevant to the scientific method assignment. Click post, click the X to close, and now I can see I've got five class comments again. If I wanted to send a private comment to just my teacher, down below, I can add a private comment. Type your message and click Post. To return to the Stream page, click on the arrow in the top left-hand corner. On the Stream page, I can also see the comments. Or I can click Hide Comments and only see the last two. I'm going to continue to scroll down my Stream page and I see that my teacher has asked a question. I may answer it one of two ways. I may simply type my answer below and click Submit, or I may click on the question to open an answer window. My response is, you should always ask a person before posting their picture. Click Submit. On this particular question, the teacher has allowed classmates to see each other's answers. By clicking on See Classmates Answers, I can see what other classmates have posted. The most recent post will be posted first. As I scroll down, I see that someone has replied to Kirsten's. I can click on Reply and read the reply. Or I may click on Reply and add my own reply. To the left, I can see all of my classmates. Those in dark black have replied, those in gray have not. Click on the arrow to return to the stream page. I'm going to continue to scroll down just to check to see if there are any more assignments or questions. I can see that I have completed them all. I can also look off to the left hand side where it says, woohoo, no work due soon. Our next tab is classmates. Classmates shows all of the students that are in this class. If I wanted to email one of these classmates, I'd simply click on the envelope and it would redirect me to my Gmail. Here I could type my message, click send, it'll give me a notification that my message was sent and return me back to the classmates page. Our next tab is the about page. On this page, your teacher will post information that is relevant to the class. Here is this year's syllabus. I can click on it. I can see that this is a view only document, therefore I cannot edit my teacher's syllabus. Close the tab, return to the about page. If I wanted to email my teacher, I would simply click on the teacher's email link. It would redirect me to my Gmail. I would type my message to my teacher, click send. It'll give me notification it's sent and return me back to the about page. In the top left-hand corner, you will see three horizontal bars, the classroom main menu bars, or the hot dog. Here I can see all of my assignments and all of the classes that I am involved in. Click on assignments and I can now see a list of all the things I need to do. I can sort by different classes. Woohoo, nothing to do in that class. Oh, two assignments to do in this class. Or I can view all of the assignments. Click back on the navigation bars and I can quickly toggle between classrooms. Back to the navigation bars or the hot dog, I can click on classes and return to the classroom's homepage. Here I can see the classes that I'm involved in too. 
Clicking on the folder will open up your Google Drive. Here you can see what documents are in that Classrooms folder. Click on Classrooms and you can see all of your individual Classroom folders. Simply close the tab to return back. If you are no longer enrolled in a class, click on the three dots on the right hand corner, click Unenroll. Please note that when you unenroll from a class, it will remove you from the class but all of your documents will still be in your Google Drive. Very last thing, remember to sign out. Click on your account information in the top right hand corner and click sign out.